Hi guys, today we are going to talk about how to use ClickUp Sprints. So Sprints ClickUp actually allows you to create and organize your folders accordingly. Okay, now let's get started. Well, to start off, of course, we need to sign in to our ClickUp account. And after we've signed in, you'd be routed to this page. Now we just go to the sidebar. The upper left hand corner, you can see your workspace. Now you can click on it. Now we can see the settings button. And now all we need to do is to look for spaces and it will route you to this page. So now you can see the different kinds of information. Instant owner, shared, titles and click up apps and the required views. So since we are looking for a sprint here, all we need to do is to look for the arrow button. The arrow button is the sprint button. So let's click on that one. Now it will give us uh, this option. So for sprints, you can see that there is a broken underline. We just need to click on that one and it will route us to a different page. Okay, now once we route it, we can see here the default screen settings. However, if this doesn't show up, we just need to scroll down a bit and look for sprints. Okay, sprints. So now for sprints, you can create sprints as list to track progress of your production cycle. Now we have three options in here. First option is to enable custom. Now we can see a warning. This feature is in beta ones turned on. There will be no way to switch it back on. So if you want to just custom enable the custom sprints, then you can click confirm. But if not, then just click cancel. Okay, so now we have the spaces. So now you either disable or enable the space. I would like to use it with a space, so I leave this as it is. Okay, now moving to our last option is spring default settings or underlined. We can see here the default spring settings, which we saw a while ago as we were clicking on the default settings of springs. So in here, you can actually have the sprint name. Our sprint name includes the index, the start date and the end date. So basically, we are going to move on to our next part, which is sprint duration. The sprint duration allows you to edit or to set how many weeks you would like to finish the task. So as for me, I would like to put it for two weeks right next you can see date format. I would like to have this here, month's date format. So there you can have it. So moving on, we can also choose the sprint start date. So this one, we can actually see the days of the week. And I would like to start my task on every Mondays. So I choose Monday now. Now we have non-working days. You can choose the days that you will not work. I will choose Sunday and Saturday. So now we have measure of effort. So basically it's your choice whether you would choose points, time estimates or custom fields. For me, I would like to have my sprint estimates with the time estimates. So also we can see the note that there are the default settings for sprint and won't be added editable once saved. You can always customize sprints further on the folder level sprint settings. Okay, so now we can save it up. And now let's go back to our spaces. Okay, here you can see some folders. In spaces, there is a plus button icon and there are different types of options that you can choose from. So I go to spring folder. Okay, there we can see our spring folder settings and then we save the settings. Okay, so now in our first folder, we can see the plus button. Let's click on it. And now we can see the sprint in here. And once we click on sprint, so we can select the dates for your first sprint. Now, how many sprints do you want to create? Well, I want to create, for example, five sprints. And now let's create it. And now we can see here that five sprints has been created now. So let's go to sprint number one. In sprint number one, you can actually input the tasks you need to do in that specific sprint or in this specific week. Now this one, the sprint button, beloved. Now we can see here our spring settings, which we have saved a while ago. Oh. We can see that we can change the name of the sprint. Also, we can organize it as we want. Now you can also mark it as done. So. so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can see a lot of usable tutorials.